Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Two teams that share a greater metro area. SMU and TCU are on the field. The Ponies and the Horned Frogs finishing up their warm-ups in the battle for the Iron Skillet. Good thing they don't give them the Iron Skillet till after the game. They'd hit each other with it. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. today as two rivals are about to go at it for state bragging rights. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. one off and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game he's to the 20 at the 30 they'll bring him down at the 34 so let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field up with some national honors because right now he's leading the conference statistically. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball in 34. it out to his receiver in a hurry and he's tackled at about the 43 yard line that'll make it 31 they'll bring him down the 47 yard line he showed you right there why a defense can never lose tabs on him take your eye off him in coverage and he'll create a big play it's first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. He's pushed out of bounds at the 31-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. From the 18-yard line, first down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. It looked like the quarterback thought he had an open receiver there, but I don't think he saw the linebacker. up the middle for a nice run. That makes it third and three. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Pulls in the pass and steps out. Well, it was third down, so they obviously had to get to the sticks, and they did just that with this little pass play. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. They get nice yardage on that run. 
gain of five yards. That brings, that brings him second and goal. From the two yard line, it's second down. He's got it, touchdown. play ever developed nicely well it's all about the receiver on this play he beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route all he had to do after that was make the catch he splits the uprights with the extra point let's check in with reese davis in the studio let's take a look at some action in the big 12 and for texas state they won two straight texas state gets the win 28 7 in other games on the hunt for some action in Huntington. This game was tighter than spandex on a sumo wrestler. The Thundering Herd take it by four. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Number Bird, three, ready to kick. Return. Return. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. The Horned Frogs offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. about three yards to get the first down here on third down he gets hit out of bounds at about the 49 well they didn't need too much on that play and let me tell you they didn't have any room to spare because they barely picked up the first down From the 44-yard line, second down. I don't even know why this team showed up. He's at the 30, and down he goes at the 23. The offense coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Taken down at the 20 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on the 20. On the pitch, look out, loose ball. The offense falls on it. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Up the middle for a nice game. Normally you look for the pass in those kinds of situations, but a very alert play stopped that run short of the sticks. They'll line it up for the field goal. We're through one quarter. The Mustangs with a touchdown lead.
And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Kicks away, and it is good. Let's throw out to Reese now for a studio update. Get you up to date on what's happening in Evanston. It felt as if the game rested on every play. The Wildcats top it off with a seven-point win. All right, Reese, back to our game. McGee is lined up to kick this one off. Dawson takes it from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. SMU is up four. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 23. Steps up at the 27. That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of four yards. yards. That'll, That'll bring, bring up third, up third and, six. and six. Hey, watch number 33. Watch number 33. Watch the run, run. Tackle at the 38. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. First and 10, ball on the 38. Zips it to the back. Loose football. Picks up the loose ball. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. A lot of guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks, and the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. SMU is up by four. Quick throw. Knocked out of bounds around the 49-yard line. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it first and ten. From the 49-yard line, first down. Tackle made at the 30. First down. From the 30-yard line, first down. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Yeah, any time a quarterback makes a throw like this, the best thing a wide receiver can do is come over to the quarterback and pat him on the back and tell him to shake it off and let's make the next play a better play. The worst thing you can do is put your arms up in the air as if you're blaming the quarterback. Come over, tell him it's all right, and move on. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down at the one-yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Strike tight end, and that's a touchdown.
and he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 69-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. So the score now, 14-3. Gates fields it at the seventh. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. The Horn Frogs have really got some work to do, I think, Kirk, in the second half. Because from what we've seen from their quarterback so far, if he's their star, it's not shining right now. And they got to find somebody else to light up the sky a little bit. Well, I think collectively, as a head coach, an offensive coordinator, quarterback coach, they're all going to have to get together and take some time to visit with this quarterback at halftime and try to find out if they can somehow get him going. And the other thing to think about is maybe this is where the running backs, maybe it's, this is their week to take some of the pressure. Pressure off of Maybe the receivers, the offensive line. When your star isn't playing up to his abilities, he has a tendency to press. Somebody else has to step up their game and take some of the pressure off him. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's taken down at the 24. but he looked off the other receivers first. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. There's a strike complete, and he's tackled at about the 47-yard line. Second and three. TCU's going to use their first time out of the half here. Two times, two times. Three down, three down. Zero, zero, Mike, three. Let's go. And off to the left. Runs outside for a nice game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Got it, and brought down immediately. That'll make it second and seven. just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. He's on the run. And he's taken down around the three-yard line. Throws quickly into the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. The tight end scored that time, and with authority. Brad, he's a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Rodgers fields it at the two. Across the 30. 
tackle at the 38-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. The Mustangs will use their first time out of the half. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. SMU holds a four-point lead. Just throws this one away. And he's immediately tackled. SMU's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 49-yard line, first down. He's tackled in the open field. That's a gain of six on the play. Throws complete. He's got space to work. That's a great tackle at the 29. Game of 14 on the play. First down. Easy, easy, easy. Eagle. Eagle. Let's go. Blue and yank. Blue and yank. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 26-yard line. Let's see if the quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. He launches one for the end zone. Oh, my, what a catch. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 62-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. So our score, 21-10. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Here's Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back from their offense. Uh, absolutely. you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. From the eight-yard line, he gets out to about the 28-yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense can continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Bradley takes the give. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 34. They're about four yards away here on second down. Nice run, and he's brought down.
middle. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the call on the field will be reversed. At the 47. No more on the tackle at the 47 yard line. That brings up third, third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Three down, three down. My five, my five, my five. Let's go. Let's go. He guns it. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And they finally knock him out at the 14 yard line. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Hands it to the back. Makes it to the 12-yard line. Gaining two yards. That, that makes, makes it second, second and eight. eight. My five. My five. I got him. Open receiver. No good. Gorman was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. So we're looking at another third down here. Protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. And he converts the extra point. A nine-play, 74-yard drive. And they put up seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. The score now... 21-17. Dawson from the five. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. TCU coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. SMU is up four. Henry off the fake. Throws it. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pitch. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Throws complete and he's hit right away. That'll make it 35. Go 
tackle made at the 44-yard line. Washington brings him down at the 44-yard line. First down. From their own 44-yard line. First down. is out of bounds. They get a little sloppy here with their ball handling. It's a good thing they were near the sideline. Otherwise, the defense could have pounced on that football. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. First and ten. ten. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. SMU is up by four. He rifles it. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That brings in second and goal. Second down and goal. Ball on the one yard line. Play number 10 on the drive. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. That's his fourth touchdown pass of the game. Well, what we have right now is a quarterback who's very comfortable with his offense. He believes in his system, and the coaches and players believe in him. You couldn't ask for a better situation. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The Mustangs had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Bird ready to kick. He'll take it from the two. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. The Horn Frog really had a tough first half, and I got to give him credit for hanging in there and uh, turning things around here in the third quarter. You're right, Brad. They could have just shut it down as bad as they looked in the first half, but great perseverance by the entire offensive unit. It's paid off. Back-to-back -back drives now. They've gotten points up on the board. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back in their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. A quarter to go, and can they pull the upset? 28-17, Mustang. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Two down, two down. Mike three. Mike three. He's taken down right around the 32 yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 32.
from their own 49-yard line. It's first down. Nice run there. Thomas picks up about four yards after keeping the ball on the option. down now and they need to get it inside the 41. five-yard line and he gets a yard on the run you have that to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game nice stop by the junior from the 35-yard line it's second down caught open field and they make the stop at about the 27-yard line Tenth play of the drive. Just under three to go in regulation. Here's an opening. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll get him for a loss. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. Play 13 of the current drive. Keep it on the ground again. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a four yards. Fourth down. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Mike three. Mike three. Quick throw out to the receiver. And that sets them up for the first and goal. This is play number 15 of a very impressive drive. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. Just over a minute left. Let's go! Feeling the pressure, and he fumbles the football. A long 15-play, 78-yard drive. And they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. So the score now, 28-23. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. down the 37 yard line i think any good football team has to have an ability to answer and that's exactly what we just saw one team scores a touchdown the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board this is getting exciting here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game and who's going to come to the forefront we'll see who's got the most leadership and he carries the ball for a nice game 
Edwards picks up about four yards on the play. The Horned Frogs will use their first time out of the half. It's second and six. Ball on the 33-yard line. They'll bring him down around the 31-yard line. He holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. This junior corner has been progressively improving his run defense. He's better at diagnosing those plays now and knows how to bring a guy down. They hand it off again. Tackled after a decent pickup. The defense can't be surprised that they're running the football, but for whatever reason, they're not stepping up when they need to to be able to come up with a stop. From the 25-yard line, first down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. And the ball game's over. And our final score on this one, 28-23, SMU. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kurt? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down in the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.